Oh, hey, one sec. Today's episode is sponsored by Private Internet Access, the world's most transparent VPN provider. But more on them in a bit. I want to see where this movie goes. <laughs> Doc, can you explain that in English, please? <laughs> in layman's terms, what the engine... Whoa, whoa, behind... whoa, Doc, can you explain that in English, please? <laughs> in layman's terms, what the engine behind me is doing is bending both space and time. Oh, whoa, whoa. Doc, can you explain that in English, please? <laughs> um, uh, I can explain it like this. So imagine that all of space and time, space time is like this sheet of paper. I wanna get from point A to point B, but that distance is too vast to travel in one human lifetime. So instead, what the engine does is bend or fold both space and time and then traverse it in a shorter amount of time than should be possible. Technically, faster than light. It's called a wormhole, and I know that the engine works because I built it. Stop. Okay, everyone stop. That, that's enough. You have to be getting sick of this little demonstration too, right? I mean, the whole wormhole is a pencil through paper thing is fine enough, but why does any sci-fi anything dealing with wormholes have to use this exact same demonstration? I think it's high time that we update it based on what we know about the universe. Actually, I think it's time that you update it. And I'm gonna give you more cash for doing so than you can stick a pencil through. Un unless you try really hard. But then that's just a waste. Now entering the facility. So here's the deal, gamers. I've seen the old pencil through paper trick in popular culture to explain a wormhole way too many times and it physically hurts me now. I think that we can do better at this point with what we know about the universe. And more specifically, I think you can do better as a science educator. Behold, the wormhole challenge. What I want from you is to film a new wormhole demonstration. It has to be simple enough to show a general audience and it must be mostly accurate. Your analogies have to be good ones. Shoot the video, edit it however you want, and upload it to your YouTube or TikTok or whatever gives you those precious hits of serotonin that you can't seem to find lately. Then go to this website and send me a link to your video with the subject line, Wormhole Challenge. You have until the end of this October to submit. After that, I and a number of actual experts like Derek from Veritasium and Dr. Spiros Michalakis, a theoretical quantum physicist who advised on Spider-Man and Ant-Man and Captain Marvel, and he's so handsome, we will pick our top three. Why would you go through the hassle of doing all this? Well, in addition to getting your demonstration featured in one of my future videos, in addition to giving real experts who work with Hollywood a great idea, I will be giving three of you, let's say, an educational grant. That's right, the top three video submissions will be splitting, awkwardly, $5,000. Can you submit more than one video? Can you submit as a team? Can you film everything just on your phone and submit it? Yes, 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 yes and yes, but the answers to all of your questions are at this website right here. But Kyle, I hear you saying, I want a shot at science communication glory, but I don't know where to start. Well, don't worry, baby birds, I'll feed you. Let's get a little bit of a wormhole refresher first. <laughs> oh, hello. I'm award-winning science educator and Steve Rogers before I took that super serum, Kyle Hill. Do you know what I hate? I hate knowing that probably every move I make on the internet is being tracked. I hate knowing that people are watching me search for death threat bunnies. Just cute little bunnies. That's why the sponsor of today's episode and what I'm using is private internet access. Private Internet Access is the world's most transparent VPN provider, a 100% open source service with over 30 million downloads that reroutes your traffic through an encrypted tunnel, if you will, keeping ISPs, network administrators, and government sensors in the dark. Private Internet Access never records or stores your data, and their no-logs policy has been proven multiple times in court, I'll have you know. Their service blocks ads and trackers, supports torrenting and peer-to-peer -peer file sharing, and works with every large streaming service. So now you can watch that latest not-so-well-made cash-grab true crime series anywhere in the world. <laughs> Private Internet Access protects up to 10 of your devices at the same time. And that's already way more than you have. Who are you? An overworked and stressed out social media manager? 
Probably not. Do you want complete digital privacy with the most customizable VPN on the market? Do you want that VPN for just $2.08 per month for three years and two months free on your boy here? Yeah, I know. I've seen a lot of VPN deals too, and this is the best one I've ever heard of too. Do you want 24-7 customer support? Do you want a 30-day money-back guarantee? Yes, Kyle. Okay, well then go down into the description below or the comments and check out private internet access today. <gasps> Now back to science and wormholes. Securely, you can't track me. And don't try, please. The term wormhole was first coined in a paper in 1957 by physicist John Wheeler. It's the more colloquial version of a mathematical concept that was first thought up in 1928 by Hermann Weyl. And I think that wormholes are so captivating to so many in science and popular culture because of what they theoretically allow you to do, and that is break usually unbreakable rules. For example, if you were to construct a wormhole and you were able to, again, somehow move one end of the wormhole near the speed of light for a while, the rest of the universe would age, but that entrance would hardly age at all. Then all you'd have to do is step through that younger entrance and you'd emerge decades before, when it was first constructed. Yes, backwards time travel. And of course, famously, as we're discussing today, you can technically break the speed of light by going from one end of the universe to the other in an instant using a wormhole. This is what all those pencils and papers were trying to show you. Of course, us being science types, we need to note the caveats here. Even though wormholes and what they're able to do are valid solutions to Einstein's famous field equations in general relativity, no one's ever seen a wormhole. We don't have any empirical evidence of them. Right now, they're entirely consequences of mathematics. And even if there were wormholes out there in the universe, we have good reason to believe that nothing other than exotic matter can hold them open. And right now, exotic matter is science talk for stuff that doesn't exist. Right now, wormholes are less real than Anne Hathaway's character in Interstellar's grip on physics. No, Anne, love is not like gravity. Love is a chemical. You were really close, like the whole rest of Interstellar, like you, you produce an a image of a black hole that's better than anything that even like actual scientists produce and then you say a line like that. <sighs> okay gamers, so I think you have everything that you need now. Go to the website on ARIA here, submit your video. Give me your best interpretation of a new wormhole demonstration that could and should be used in popular culture. Where do you start? Uh, I don't know, use household objects. Keep it short, simple, intelligible, sweet. Try to make the fact that a mouth of a wormhole is actually a fourth dimensional cylinder, make that, make that work in my head. Good luck, thanks for watching. Now exiting the facility. Thank you so much to the very nerdy staff at the facility for their direct and substantial support in the creation of this here video. Today especially, I want to recognize research assistant, The Edge of Rage, and visiting scholar, <sighs> Valentinez Elkenanella Zifax Sika Bohertz Giobigabila Blue Stradivari Talon Trent Pierre Andre Chartan Hamos Ivan Avanchi Beldu. I hate you. If you want to join the facility, if you want to drape on a silky white lab coat, if you want to see episodes early, behind the scenes, photos, talk to me on Discord, get private members only live streams with yours truly, not like that. You can go to patreon.com slash Kyle Hill and join the facility today. And hey, if you support us just enough, you get your name on Aria here each and every week. And as you can see, there's literally hundreds and hundreds of you, so I have no idea how I'm going to pass the time. What we are going to really focus on for the wormhole challenge is something, again, that uses an item that you could just find right off the top of your head, like, oh, let me explain it to you with this. You know what this is, let me show you. And it's easy to understand and it's accurate. And if you can really make me say when I look at your video, oh, that's clever, then you're probably gonna be near that top tier spot. And then you can win some of Kyle Hill's money. I'm way better than Ben Stein. He's a creationist. <laughs>
<laughs> Thanks for watching. Not you, Ben. You know, for someone with clear eyes, you can't really see the evidence for evolution, can he? Oh! <laughs>